Azra chapter 1. Now in the first year of Koresh, king of Paras, that the word of Yahweh by the mouth of Yermiah might be accomplished, Yahweh stirred up the spirit of Koresh, king of Paras, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom, and put it also in writing, saying, Thus saith Koresh, king of Paras, All the kingdoms of the earth hath Yahweh the God of the skies given me, and he hath charged me to build him a house in Yerushalem, which is in Yehuda. Whosoever there is among you of all his people, his God be with him, and let him go up to Yerushalem, which is in Yehuda, and build the house of Yahweh, the God of Yisrael. He is God, which is in Yerushalem. And whosoever is left in any place where he sojourneth, let the men of his place help him with silver and with gold and with goods and with beasts besides the free will offering for the house of God which is in Yerushalem. Then rose up the heads of fathers' houses of Yehuda and Binyamin, and the priests and the Lewiin, even all whose spirit God had stirred to go up to build the house of Yahweh which is in Yerushalem. And all they that were round about them strengthened their hands with vessels of silver and gold, with goods and with beasts and with precious things, besides all that was willingly offered. Also Koresh the king brought forth the vessels of the house of Yahweh, which Nabuchodurri Uthur had brought forth out of Yerushalem and had put in the house of his gods. Even those did Koresh, king of Paras, bring forth by the hand of Mithradath, the treasurer, and numbered them to Sheshabathar, the prince of Yehuda. And this is the number of them. Thirty platters of gold, a thousand platters of silver, nine and twenty knives, thirty bowls of gold, silver bowls of a second sort, four hundred and ten, and other vessels, a thousand. All the vessels of gold and of silver were five thousand and four hundred. All these did Sheshabathar bring up when they of the captivity were brought up from Babel to Yerushalem.